what a thing to find in the morning. This is beautiful. We've got flat top here, a gorgeous backdrop, but like 22, he beds down. Figuring he'll be like this for a while, we leave, and about a half a mile up the trail, we come upon Dagger. There's no mistaking those tines. They are killer. And that broken one keeps stubbornly hanging on there. So I guess he's been staying out of trouble. Behind him, we notice a bull standing up. Zooming in, we discover it's TJ. You know, that youngster that fought one of his antlers off. Well, he's still got a piece of it there beyond the pedicle. He decides to get up and just mosey away. Now, it's not like Dagger said anything to him. In fact, Dagger's just mildly aware of him. As he walks off, we didn't think much of it either. While I'm focusing on TJ leaving, I'm aware that something catches Dagger's eye. And we look over there to see this cow in the tall yellow grasses. That's kind of pretty. She stops for a nibble every now and then. Dagger wants to be sure she's still coming his way, so... I think he's thinking of doing something to maybe lure her over. I'm filming this from a vantage where I can see this cow easily. If I were down at her level through that tall grass, it'd be kind of hard to see her. Okay, Dagger, make your move. Impress her with a rake. And a snort. That dried brush makes a lot of noise this time of year. And that should do the trick. Yep. She's still coming. Slowly. But that's how cows operate. There's no rut pit here. It's a little bit after the height of the rut. But there are still cows out there who haven't been bred yet. And she does eventually come join him. And they eat together. Like a first date. Maybe she has been bred. Look at this. When Dagger raked, it didn't just attract the cow in. Flat tops coming to answer. And here comes Dagger, wagging in himself. We've got an actual potential for a fight here. We have to move. So we reposition, and by the time we get set up again, this is the scene. Dagger had climbed up into the alders, loudly, slowly, and Flat Top kind of came up off the trail at him. And at this point, we were holding our breath. But a couple of things are tipping us off that this is not going to escalate to a fight. Their ears, first. And their eyes really aren't all that crazy. And it appears to me to be an invitation to spar, but Dagger's going at it oddly, to say the least. Because right there, it could have been an all-out battle. But it wasn't. Mm -hmm. 
so they kind of start to spar in the olives. Dagger came in to the rut a little hot this year. We think he's a younger bull. It's clear he wanted this far early on, but he always came at it a little bit aggressively for the other bull's taste. I think that's what happened here. Because when bulls want to go at it, they don't care about alderbrush being in their way. This is going to be the deciding moment here. Okay. That's that. As far as flat top is concerned, Dagger's still wagging his way out of the alders. While flat top nonchalantly starts to nibble. It was very interesting. Kind of comical. And now the ears drop. And now the eye gets crazy. Oh, you're such a bad boy, Dagger. We can't wait to see you in the fall. And then the ears go up, and it's over. All good. They're pals now. It always fascinates us, watching their behavior this time of year. Foes one minute, friends the minutes before and after. Look at those antlers side by side. That's impressive. Dagger has some reach, but Flattop has him outgunned. When we start our hikes every morning, we never have a clue as to what's going to develop, or if anything is at all. Some mornings we get skunked. Others we get two impressive bulls demonstrating typical behavior for this post-rut time of year for them. It's funny, Dagger still takes an occasional wag step, but Flat Top is not having any part of it. He's like, no, dude, you're a little too hot yet. You gotta cool your jets. Like, flat top is the voice of wisdom at six and a half. But he has proven himself to be pretty savvy. Dagger, he's not going for it. He's not interested. You hear that? I think he just blew you off. Oh, okay. A steen sealer here. Hey, miss, could you let me focus on the bulls, please? So here, another morning, ended up totally unexpectedly in a rather really epic way. Two huge bulls eating peacefully side by side in the Alaskan wilderness. Wow. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.